UFC title shot at 170 pounds. That is saying something most people would argue. This is as deep as any division in the UFC. And this man, undeniably the number one contender as he makes a lot of time. He has separated himself from the back. The only person left is the champion. He has done everything necessary to be viewed as a guy that could hold his championship belt. Now's his moment. He has got to lock in for 25 minutes because it's going to take all of that 25 to beat this great champion. Big spot for this young man tonight. Well, and a lot of his UFC experience, he believes, is going to help him in this setting. He's been measured with his energy all week. Nerves do not appear to be an issue. We'll see if by night's end we have a good chance. of a pro sports atmosphere. I cannot think of anything bigger. This place is deafening as Conor McGregor makes his latest walk to the octagon. Every time McGregor walks through the octagon, John, it feels like the Super Bowl. I can imagine that's the only thing that matches the energy inside an arena when the notorious one hits the curtain. People love this guy. People love this guy because of his ability. Though. They love the fact that he can go out there and put a person out with one left hand. They love the fact that he has shown an ability to compete at the top of the sport for a really long time. And they also love the fact that he does not apologize for being him. He is Conor McGregor. You're going to love him or you're going to hate him, but he won't change. And many have wondered aloud as to whether or not he would be back competing in the UFC, but in terms of scratching his competitive itch, there's only one proven ground in the world on which he can do it. It is the Octagon. Great to see Conor McGregor. championship fight. Now for the introductions, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the Prodigy, B.J. Penn! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight Champion of the world, the notorious Connor McGregor! All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Go. All right, so this highly anticipated stand-up only event is now underway. Friendly reminder on the rules and hopefully you play by them. No grappling of any type. So if you like striking, this is the event for you. Also, fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. This is a stand-up only event. Oh, straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Lands a big right hand early. Potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, right here. Fast pace here in the early going. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end 
your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Penn's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Back and forth we go. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Penn's eye starting to swell now. Setting up the left hook, but out of range. Big, straight left. Point accuracy on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. And just misses with that big right hand. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. And he connects there. Final seconds. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket oh, there. What a start! All right, heading back to the corner now, and we will keep a close eye on things. Penn's eye has never looked worse, candidly. The cup man's gonna get in there and hopefully put some end swell on that, or that eye's gonna swell shut, DC. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's gonna do much, and if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. All right, second round underway. Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston, and it lands in here. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he's got We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop in this contest at 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the notorious Conor McGregor. All right, well, as many of you know, the overwhelming majority of Conor McGregor's pro MMA wins have come by knockout, and he produces another one here in the Octagon tonight. Produces another knockout. Conor McGregor will tell you that he's going to knock you out, and he goes out there, and he does it. Hats off to Conor McGregor and all of his coaches for another massive victory and another huge spot.